I've got a straight feed from the back. Bradley's going to come in and first of all, he's going to practice his drop shot. Now on this angle of the drop, he doesn't have much to play with, so he's not looking for that dead ball or into the nick or just above it. So we're definitely looking first of all for a ball that's coming from wall bounce and up into the side. Once that's working and he feels good, good energy, he's coming in with his drop, he's changing his drop to his drive, the odd boast, some cross courts, and he's basically practicing his deception from the front of the court. Nice, nice little cut, bounce, bounce between, nice energy, nice energy. Don't be too far away from the ball. You've got good space, but it wants to be the most comfortable space you want. This is an attacking drop, not a counter drop. Nice. Two more good drops. Two more good ones. Last one, if it's good. Now mix it up. So with his drop, he's going to change whatever shot he wants. And the focus is really having him feel the same position. One more and stop the machine. Now, I'm going to have Bradley come back a little bit more towards the tee. And I'm going to put, I want a little bit more movement on, in this drill. So Bradley, I'd like you to come from here, coming up to, and just push back. And now coming up here and it'll change the dynamics a little bit. It'll make it a little bit more realistic and he'll feel the energy when he goes into his drive because he's got energy now coming in when he weight transfers there. That drop to a drive position could be more effective, we hope. Let's give it a whirl. So a little deeper. Nice. Keep your head down on that. And again, we don't think winner. We're applying pressure. Good energy, bounce, bounce. I'm of course here, not just as the coach, but I'm here to make sure that the player is safe. Any balls too near to him, and I stop the drill. Two more. Nice shot. Last one. It's very important from a safety point of view that there is a coach, an adult who understands squash, on the court with the player, especially on a drill like this. He's moving, albeit not too far, but I'm responsible for his safety. He needs to be free in his head to practice properly and get the job done. Well done.